questions about a classroom lesson in Westport and a story read aloud in English class. Now, the story is from a book which deals with some sensitive issues like sex and suicide. Thanks for being with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Paula has the evening off. The school has now launched an investigation. WBZ's Tiffany Chan spoke with the parent who first sounded the alarm. She was in shock. She was just in shock that this was actually being spoken about. Feeling uncomfortable and a bit disgusted after her 15-year-old daughter returned from her second day at Westport High School. The student says her English teacher had the class read some provocative literature. There was sexual stuff in there that I don't think is age appropriate. And even so, something like that sexually should be taught in home, not in school. This mother doesn't want to be identified, but says her daughter's teacher read a collection of short stories called Happy Endings by author Margaret Atwood aloud in class. Traumatizing, thinking this is actually going on in at a school. Westport Community School Superintendent Thomas Aubin says this was not a part of the curriculum and that the district is investigating the incident and the teacher. We're certainly looking into it, but uh, at a very cursory look, um, I, I'm, a little con I'm not a little concerned. I'm concerned, uh, especially day two of school. Margaret Atwood, who also authored The Handmaid's Tale, is on a list of recommended authors provided to schools by the State Department of Education. Happy Endings discusses topics around sex, infidelity, drugs, and suicide. I'd be fine with that. I don't see anything objectionable. Craig Dutra's children have been taught by this English teacher who's been employed in Westport for about a decade. I'm a big First Amendment person. I believe that uh, curriculum frameworks are just that. Teachers should have the freedom to select the tools that they use. While other parents argue topics of sex and drugs are too mature for teens, especially sophomores in high school. Thinking of your young ones, would you want them in class listening to that? The most important thing that we do, Tiffany, is protect our kids, whether it's their emotional or their academic uh, safety. In Westport, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News.